The ABCA Video Tip of the Week is presented by Volleyball Training Solutions, an educational resource and interactive website for volleyball coaches, and brought to you by the ABCA. We're going to look at Jen Beltran, Libro for the University of Illinois, and we're going to focus on some things that I think Jen does very well, and it's why she's such a, such a quality Libro. And we're going to focus a lot on where she lines up as the ball is being attacked. You notice that she moves before the ball's hit, but when the ball is actually attacked, she'll always be around the block. She'll never be behind the block. You know, so if you imagine the court's a slice of pie and the block's taking away one slice, she always wants to be outside of that. So here we're looking at her starting position, you know, obviously down low, arms out in front of her with the palms up. And now as the ball goes to the outside, she'll move before the ball's attacked and she wants to get inside the middle blocker. This is great middle blocker footwork by the way. And so as you can see, as the ball is attacked, she can see the hitter and the ball. And such a common mistake for a lot of defenders is they get behind the block. So general, let the block form, and then she's always sliding to get her body where she's inside of it. So as you see here in fast motion, you'll see how she, the, she's inside the block and can see the ball. And this goes for every attack area. She tries to see where the block is, and then she'll move around it. So again, a slow motion picture, ball going to the outside, good middle blocker footwork. Look at the big first step and then crossing over. Jen has a pretty good idea where the block's going to form. Notice how she slides inside so she can see that hitter. And notice also how the blocker is going straight up and over. And cross court diggers love middle blockers that reach straight over the net and don't reach sideways while they're blocking, which is certainly a common problem for a lot of middles. So, you know, as you can see here also, after the ball's dug, great transition attack where the, the left front's driven off the net, she opened up, and now she's in a position for a good counter attack with a good four step approach. So, as these clips go by, you know, try to watch how the Libro will always move her feet before the ball's hit, not while it's being hit. You know, so many lib Libros are actually defenders in general. They want to move around and run and hop in the air. And Jen does all of her movement before the ball's hit. And then as it's being hit, her feet are stopped, her arms are out, and she's ready to defend. So she plays this position very, very well, and she reads her angles very well. So as you can see here, she drops quickly to the sideline, gets outside the outside blocker, and is in a position to hit. So she she's down and stopped in her ready position. She moves while the ball's in the air, and then she plays her angles and gets around the blocker. As you see here, she, again, she drops to the sideline and is ready to dig the line shot. If the block closes, then she releases for tips. Inside, she's in perfect court position. And this, what's, this is what makes Jen such a good Libro. She's on the youth national team, she's on the junior national team, and she always has her feet moving before the ball's hit, and, but when the ball's actually being attacked, she's stopped and down and ready to pursue the ball. So, uh, you know, in, in summary, we wanna make sure that we always you know, line up around the block, not behind the block. We, we use our feet to move while the ball's in the air. But then we're stopped when the ball's being actually attacked. And then we get our arms out, palms up in our, in our ready position.